Welcome to the spoken tutorial on installation of LD Micro on Windows. In this tutorial, we will see how to install LD Micro, AVR Dude, drivers for USB ASP programmer. To record this tutorial, I am using Windows 8 operating system, USB ASP programmer. Now, we will see how to install LD Micro. To download the installation files, open a web browser of your choice. Make sure you have an active internet connection. Go to the website openplc.fossi.in. In the top menu bar, click on Downloads tab. Here, we will find link to download LD Micro installation files for Windows. Click on LD Micro for Windows link. In the Downloads folder, the downloaded.exe file is available. Double click on the .exe file. We will get a warning message as Windows Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Click on More Info. Then click on Run Anyway button. This will open the LD Micro Program Editor window. Thus, we have successfully installed LD Micro. Close the window. Next, we will see how to install AVR Dude. What is AVR Dude? AVR Dude stands for AVR Downloader Uploader. It is a tool for downloading or uploading the on chip memories of AVR microcontrollers. Now we will see the installation of AVR Dude. Switch back to the browser. In downloads page, in Windows row, click on Win AVR AVR Dude. It will redirect to SourceForge.net website. Click on the Files tab. Click on Win AVR folder. We can see a list of folders for different versions of AVR Dude. Click on the first folder available in the list which indicates the latest version. In my case, it is 201001110. Then click on Win AVR hyphen 201001110 hyphen install dot exe. This will download the executable file for AVR Dude. It will take some time to download the file. In the downloads folder, the downloaded.exe file is available. Right click on it and select Run as Administrator. A window will pop up asking permission to install. Click on S button. Then another window pops up asking to select a language. Select English and then click OK button. Click Next in the Setup Wizard window. Click I Agree in the License Agreement window. Browse to the location where you would want to install the software. I will install it on Desktop. Click on Next button. Click on Install button. It will take some time to install the software. After completion, click on Finish button. To make sure it is installed, open command prompt using Windows Search. Type AVR Dude and press Enter. We can see the version of AVR Dude installed on the machine. Next, we will see about USB ASP Programmer. This is a picture of USB ASP Programmer. Why USB ASP Drivers? A USB ASP programmer is used to program the controller on OpenPLC mainboard. AVR Dude will not recognize the USB ASP if drivers are not installed. Now, we will see how to install the USB ASP driver. Switch back to the browser. I am using Windows 8 operating system to do the installation. 
The procedure is same for Windows 10 also. First, we need to download the installation files. In the Windows row, click on USB ASP drivers link to download them. In the downloads folder, we can see a .zip file of USB ASP drivers. Right click on it and select Extract All. Browse to the location where you want to extract and click Extract. I will extract to the Downloads folder. Connect USB ASP Programmer to one of the USB ports of your PC. Now open Windows Search. Search for Device Manager. In Windows site, we can find Device Manager under Settings. Click on Device Manager. Click on Other Devices. We can see USB ASP. The yellow sign near USB ASP indicates that it's not connected. Right click on it and select Update Driver Software. A window will pop up with How do you want to search for driver software? Click Browse my computer for driver software. Browse to the location where you have extracted the USB ASP drivers folder. I will change to Downloads. Click on Next button. But we can see a message as Windows encountered a problem installing the driver software for your device. This is because there is a driver restriction for non-digitally signed drivers. Only digitally signed drivers are allowed in Windows 8 and Windows 10. Therefore, we have to disable the signature checking. To do that, hold the shift key and restart the computer. The computer will restart with some clicking options on the screen. Click on Troubleshoot option. Then click on Advanced options. Click on Startup settings. On Windows 10, it might be on a second page after Show more settings. A new window opens with the message After restart, you will be able to change some Windows options. Now, simply click on the Restart button. When the computer reboots, it will show some options on the screen. Press 7 in the keyboard to select option 7, that is, Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. After that, the computer will start Windows normally, but now with Disable Driver Signature Detection. Now, again, go to the Device Manager and try installing the driver as before. We will get a warning that says, Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver software. Ignore it and click on Install this driver software anyway. We can see a message, Windows has successfully updated your driver software. Click on the Close button. Now, we can observe that the yellow sign at USB ASP is not there. Thus. USB ASP drivers are successfully installed and working. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to install LD Micro, AVR Jude, drivers for USB ASP programmer. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Do you have question in this Spoken Tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from our team will answer them. Do you have general or technical questions on OpenPLC? Please visit the FOSSE forum and post your question. 
Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team signing off. Thanks for watching.